we all have a lot of relations in the US. So there is that connection between uh, Ireland and North America. And I think people feel that when they come here. At the moment, there are great reasons to come to Ireland. Um, it's good value because the euro and the dollar, it's a very favorable exchange rate if you're buying particularly US dollars. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, hello, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to the A Midlife Traveler podcast. We are in the midst of a season on Ireland, and we're exploring Ireland through the voices, the stories, and the opinions of the locals who live there, and also the travelers who have been there. And my name's Laura, and I'm your host. Today's episode talks about something really near and dear to me as an American of Irish descent of Irish heritage. And that is, it, it talks about sort of that connection that we have as Americans with the Irish and how there are so many Irish immigrants in the United States that there really is a, a strong connection between our countries and between the people that you can feel when you go there. As an American, you know, you just really feel like you're you're welcome in that country and the Irish are friendly. Or, hey, wait a minute. Or are the Irish just being nosy? Well, you'll get to hear an opinion on that in this episode. But the other thing that I thought was interesting about this episode is about something more nuts and bolts. It's about flying into Ireland from the U.S. And I did not realize Dublin is one of the largest volume airports for tourists in Europe, which that's just sort of interesting by itself. But on top of that, there is a special program with our U.S. Customs and Immigration that allows U.S. bound flights to clear U.S. Customs while in Ireland instead of going through it after we arrive in the U.S. And it's a pretty interesting program. I had not heard of it before. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to our Irish host, and his name is Alan O'Connor. And Alan is a voice that you're going to hear over the next couple of episodes. He is in Killarney, Ireland, and he's actually worked in the tourism industry for over 20 years in various roles and capacities. He's currently with the Killarney Park Hotel, which is a gorgeous luxury boutique hotel right in downtown Killarney. But aside from that, he's also very friendly extremely knowledgeable about things to do and very very helpful and you know he's just an interesting guy i suppose it's in the irish nature to be friendly and welcoming or as i like to say nosy because we're interested (laughs) and it comes across that we're being friendly we're just nosy chasing like where are you from what are you doing here and that comes across as being friendly it's just we're nosy we just want to know what other people are doing well there it is um and we all have a lot of relations in the US. So that, and I I, I was joking when I said we're nosy, well, we are a little bit, but um, when we do ask you where you're from, it's usually because we have a relative very close by where you're from. Personally, I have a sister in Boston, I have a brother-in-law in in Chicago, and I have a sister-in-law in LA. So I've got the whole country covered, and I wouldn't be atypical in that. Everybody has some close relation somewhere in North America. So there is that connection that you will get straight away with somebody, you know, even if they're from, you know, Tulsa or somewhere like that, somebody will have an uncle that was there in the 1960s building a hotel or something. Um, So there is that 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 connection between uh, Ireland and North America. Um, And I think people feel that when they come here Um, at the moment. There are great reasons to come to Ireland. It's good value because the euro and the dollar, it's a very favorable exchange rate if you're buying particularly U.S. dollars. Um, Access, we have 55,000 seats a week from the U.S. into Ireland. No, what do you mean by that? You're just talking airlines. Yes, 55,000 airline seats every week fly out of the U.S. directly into Ireland directly not with a stopover so we're one of the best connected countries in europe i think dublin rates is the number three connected city in europe 
particularly because of its it's got 13 or 14 flights daily between Heathrow and Dublin, but there are a huge amount of all the major American carriers fly direct from all the hub cities such as Chicago, New York, Boston, Atlanta, Philadelphia. Not yet from not Seattle. Not yet from Seattle. Yeah, but we, we need to go to London. We, well, yeah, I know you do. Or fly from LA or San Francisco daily. Yeah, we'd rather see London for I, a day than go to Heath- LA. Do you really <laughs> want to spend some time in Heathrow? Not in the airport. Yeah, right, I'm, right, I'm talking yeah. the oh, city. Well, yeah, if yeah. You're gonna... well, the one thing, though, that I will say, and yes, a short weekend in London is always nice, but flying home, I would advocate, even if you're going to Seattle, to fly out of Ireland because, guess what, you clear customs in Ireland. Before you board your plane in Dublin or Shannon, you do US customs, so you've effectively gone through US territory when you get through those doors in the airport. So when you touch down in LAX or SFO or O'Hare, you're a domestic passenger, you walk straight off the plane, you walk straight to your next gate, you get on your next flight, your luggage is tracked right through, you do not have to do customs in the States. So that means that you can get a tight connection. It's a huge bonus because it means they'll check your bag right through, but does that mean there's a lot of extra security and check-in? No, no. First of all, you're doing your normal security because they don't know whether you're flying to London or Stockholm or the US. Then when you get into the, the gate part, uh, if you're going to the US, you go into US pre-clearance. There's a smaller, less invasive security. Ah, okay. They scan your hand luggage. You do that kiosk uh, you know you take they take the photograph they give you a little thing and sure. then you meet the custom guy and he just and hmm. goes i have never been longer than 15 minutes in that line hmm. that sounds handy and shannon even less so So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.